Hi, you're with India Post Live, India's first online news conversation, Web TV. I'm Ishan Russell, and India Post Live is, of course, a forum for you to come in and participate. Use social media to get in touch with us on Twitter. You can uh, hashtag India Post Live to your tweet, so you can use uh, the Twitter handle at India Post Live. On Facebook, we have a page called India Post Live. Go ahead, like it, comment over there, share pictures or videos of anything that you want to talk about, and we'll for sure make it a topic of conversation on IndiaPostLive.com. That's the name of the website where you can watch this live right now as we're streaming. In case you're watching it later, you can watch it as a video on demand. There are many other videos for you to check out as well. So go ahead, check those out, leave a comment on the comment wall that we've provided. And in case you want to participate and be the expert, we are, you're most welcome to do so. Just send us a participation request and we'll for sure get your voice heard via Skype or Google Hangout. All right, the topic that we've chosen today is uh, very interesting because uh, while uh, there has been a lot about uh, the Modi wave uh, across the country and uh, the, the elections of 2014, the general election, certainly proved that there was a wave but uh, is that wave waning well in Uttarakhand the story is a little different the Congress has a uh, one three seats in an assembly bipole over there so what does this mean is the Modi wave waning well we'll put together a little bit of a story for you so have a look at that first BJP may claim that the Narendra Modi wave still rules the roost across the country but the Namo wave has just hit snowfall in the Himalayan state of Uttarakhand Congress managed to bag all three seats that went to bipoles. Chief Minister Harish Rawat winning from Dharchula seat in Almora without campaigning as he had been bedridden due to a neck injury. BJP failed to retain Doiwala and Someshwar seats which were vacated by former Chief Minister Nishank and Ajay Tamta after they were elected to parliament. This has now helped Rawat strengthen his party's position. Congress tally now stands at 35 in the 70-member assembly. So is the Namo wave on the wane? Or is it just a flash in the pan for the Congress party? All right, so that's the question. Is the Namo wave on the, on the wane or is this a, just a flash in a pan for the Congress party? To discuss that, we have with us a member of the Congress party, an activist, a lawyer, one who dons many hats, Shahzad Poonawala. Thanks very much for coming in, Shahzad. Also, we have with us Ashok Vankhari. He's a seasoned journalist, a veteran journalist, has been covering politics for almost two decades now. Thanks very much, Ashok, sir, for coming in and sharing your perspective. You. We are joined from Mumbai by Vineet Goenka, a bright uh, young face of the BJP, uh, the co-convener of the IT cell of the party, and uh, somebody but he was very instrumental in the campaign of 2014 as far as Narendra Modi's victory is concerned. And uh, Sanjeev Singh, our consulting editor at India Post Live, is also with us, sharing his perspective on the ground situation uh, from Uttarakhand. Uh, he's joining us live from uh, Delhi. But uh, uh, Shahzad, uh, congratulations to the Congress party. Yes. But, uh, I mean, this uh, really, w what does this mean to you? I mean, do you think that uh, the Congress is on the rise again? Well, I think that uh, it's not a question of a fluke, first mm. of all, because you referred to it as that. Uh, apart from the three assembly seats, the Congress has also won the panchayat elections out there, and it's been a decimation of the local BJP there, who've lost uh, 15, 20, won only 20 seats out of 79. So the reasons of this, what are the reasons for this? Uh, it's a combination of uh, the Prime Minister's silence and inaction, silence on issues like Togadia, Singhal, roti feeding being done to a Muslim, Sanya Mirza, and his inaction on a very crucial and critical issue of price rise. The joke going around is that tomatoes are more expensive than dollars and petrol, and you know everything that they committed they would do, whether it was you know petrol uh, avoiding petrol price hikes or diesel price hikes, railway hikes. On their entire inflation front, they failed. Mm -hmm. So this, I think, has impacted the people the most. There have been other failures of this government already, uh, but I would peg it on price rise. And as far as the Congress is concerned, it would be too early to say that uh, this is the revival or this is Congress is going to win every election. That, nobody is jumping the gun on that. But it is equally untrue for the BJP to have claimed that this was a Congress Mukt uh, India, Congress Mukt Bharat, because they only got 30% of the vote, 70% mm -hmm. they didn't get, and we got 20% of the popular vote, even though the seats may differ because of the first past the fourth system. So I think uh, the narrative of Congress Mukt Bharat, uh, they could not even get a Congress Mukt budget, mm -hmm. uh, has been considerably silenced, and the. B it's a reminder call for the Modi brigade that they need to start delivering. This silence of the lambs won't do. All right, uh, Vineet, I'll come to you in the minute to respond. But Ashok, sir, I, I mean, what do you make of this as a political analyst? I, I don't read much into this. Mm. This is basically when you go for a by-elections, and mm. particularly in a state where you have got, you are in a power. So most of the by-elections, they go by the state. That 
by and large, we want to see something. I see more to it when in Gujarat, when we had a Lok Sabha election, that time we also had some by-elections of Vidhan Sabha. That time also in Gujarat, though the Modi swept all the Lok Sabha seats, Vidhan Sabha seats sub, were taken by Congress. It was generous of Modi to say that I have given Congress. Ko de diya. That was all uh, just uh, election uh, campaign, part of election talk. But basically, the Vidhan Sabha elections are fought on the local issues. Hmm. More not what he was talking about, the Muslim being fed. Now, again, this is being campaign made. I, I, being a journalist, I don't accept this. The fellows they never knew that he's a Muslim and <laughs> he, he was on Rosa or something like that. It was blown out of proportion, whatever it is. But the fellow was forced chap, uh, ch chapati on his face, itself was a bad. It mm. was against the dignity of the labor. Mm. So, anyway, we are not this thing. But judging Modi's performance just by three by elections, I don't go by that. You have another 12 by-elections coming up in UP mm. and a couple of uh, six to seven elections uh, by-elections in Bihar. Mm. Well, all to put together, then you can say at least there is some ripple. Mm. Otherwise, as of now, what general, when being a journalist, when you move around, people are not happy with the Modi government for various reasons. It is not because the Congress has done a great job. They replaced Congress, hmm. because people have rejected Congress. Let my friend in Congress should understand this, first of all. Why they were rejected? There are so many numbers. This is not the time that we should discuss on that. But Modi came to power on what count? Hmm. Price rise, the sentiment of Pakistan firing, hmm. the China border, the Atthani Kasina. Hmm. So all those things, people still remember those things. Hmm. Now in Delhi, you don't have a power. Hmm. You have a power minister who has never been in administration. Hmm. Now it is all gone haywire. Now he's trying to recollect things. Okay. Similarly, the price rise. Hmm. When there was a price rise in Congress, during Congress regime, they used to say, it is your mismanagement. Hmm. It is not the climate or it is not no, the other forces factors, which are acting. Yeah. Now, they are giving the same reasons which the UPA government used to give. There is nothing new. Hmm. When Manmohan Singh said, I don't have a magic wand to reduce the prices. Now, the, similarly, the same statement they make. Hmm. They were in a mood as soon as Modi takes over, the next week, entire money from Switzerland will come to India. Mm. Now, their own MP says, Ki mere mein nahi mm. And the finance minister says, I pray for your long life. <laughs> <laughs> that means that the money will not... So, these are the practical problems. I was not against Modi. Mm. Or any journalist is not against any particular political party. But when you fool people, we are here to object on that. When you object on somebody making... Uh, people fool, hmm. then you ban us as anti-Modi, anti-Congress, Congress. when you talk of Rahul Gandhi's non-performance, hmm. now they, thanks God he has not uh, given that entire three seats to <laughs> Rahul Gandhi's uh, credit, <laughs> means for the first time I am seeing some Congress is speaking like that, that they have, uh, they, have right. they have got the seat because of Modi, otherwise hmm. every good thing happening to Congress is because of Rahul Gandhi, <laughs> every bad thing happening to Congress is because of other people. So that, that tendency, Congress is coming out, I'm happy for them. Similarly, the Modi factor also, now they are realizing being in government. Hmm. To talk outside the government and to be in the government, hmm. it's a lot of difference. Hmm. And now that's my friend is just uh, smiling there. All right, so let's ask so, the friend. So, so, so let's ask the friend. I'm, 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 these, are my, these are my observations I'm putting you. Uh, Your forward. opening remarks, Vineet. Yeah, see, uh, uh, let me wish uh, uh, Sajad by very good congratulations or what is let, let me pass on my best wishes to his party to him for the victory which he had here let us accept that they have won but to analyze these two victories let me tell you that when a state is ruled by a particular party they have an advantage like mm. rightly said by ashokji and to in the Doliwala seat which was there where they have won uh, against our uh, mr rawat it was the margin is very less this six by one five margin which is very very minuscule and a very small margin there are local issues there are local liking there are scarce combinations which are there, which made him to... And if you see in the Someshwar seat, where the Congress actually won, it is our own Rekha Arya who moved on to that side. So she took over a lot of uh, our goodwill which was there, and the margin was plus 10,000. So we don't have to make too much of noise about uh, this two particular... But the larger point being made, Vineet, by the larger point being Vineet, made about... There the... are dozens of Congresses, they have shifted before Lok Sabha to your party and came to power. 
Let us not say we shift at this. Ground reality is that but, you lost three seats, they have won th three seats. But the larger question, but the larger question of the Modi wave being on the way, uh, that, that is where I think both Shahzad and Ashok are concurring no, no. that uh, there is a little bit of a problem in terms of delivery. Would you admit that? No, no, this is a small two seats, so don't read too much into that. Hmm. And uh, you also know that uh, Congress has an element called as luck also many times. So this time, you know, the stars have changed and they have got two seats. There's nothing to do there. They still have this bad phase which is going on. Unfortunately, Rahul Gandhi is not to be seen anywhere. This time they were lucky he did not go and do campaigning in this two particular seats. Probably that is the reason they have got this two. So yeah, I don't have to run through this. It is purely to localize issue which has brought. And Ashok ji, uh, let's, just to tell you, a senior journalist like you, when they make a remark, they are really afraid. But we are just two months in power. Give us some time. We are just two months. We are just naya, 61 days in power. We need, that's what I was saying from day one. Don't say what you have given them 60 years, give me 60 months. What they couldn't do in 60 years, I would do in 60 months. By that calculation, simple mathematical calculation, I am not a great scholar of mathematics. But that one year becomes one month. Now already two months have passed. Two we years, what, two years, I expect done, a miracle no, no, from this government. Two I years, you, I expect a miracle from this government. Years. We have created a confidence, we have created a truth, uh, I believe this thing. We have made people to come in time, we have made people accountable. You see, my ministers are there for more than 14 hours. My MPs are available. The bureaucrats have started functioning. We have done Ashokji what they have not done in 10 years of us. No, no, no. Come on. We need. We have done. We need. That is, that is governance. Government. That is governance. That was for Modi's voted for. But the immediate relief, which we were saying it will not come, but this claimed, no, it will come. Black money, we were of the opinion, it will come, it will take a lot of time. There are problems. They said, no, we have a solution. Power, we said, we have a problem. They said, no, we have a solution. Water, we said, problem. They said, they have a solution. Monsoon, they have a solution. They could pray Indra, uh, Bhagwan, God Indra and get the water. This, all those things, we, our objection was not whether Modi is going to deliver or not. We said this delivery model will take 10 years. He was saying, no, within one year I will show you a miracle. Now I am waiting for that miracle to happen. Otherwise, I have faith in Modi. What I said, what things you listed, they are going to happen. With 283 majority, that much seats available and no party entering or interfering in right. Modi this thing. He can make anybody minister, he can sack anybody, he can allow anybody to go. He can't, he can ask anybody to not to appoint a PS. That is different thing that he can have all that Manmohan, Modi, uh, Manmohan Singh's people on his uh, office. That is all things he can do. Nobody can question him. Now when nobody questions him, I expect a miracle from him. Because he's the supreme authority. Right. See, I, I, just, I just want to add to what uh, add to Ashok is saying. Right? I, no, one second, Vineet. You know, the problem is that Vineet is a very sane person, but what BJP is not understanding is that their mandate is not for being obsessed with Rahul Gandhi. The country or uh, people of this country haven't voted them because they made fun of Rahul Gandhi and kept calling him names. They've given you this mandate because they wanted you to deliver. Now, I can imagine that price, one second, Ashokji, price rise, all these other issues, let's give them a window of opportunity to deal with these issues. Mm. But issues like having a minister accused of rape in your cabinet, now that you have the mandate, you have 282 seats, he's not an alliance minister. Mm. You, right. you have an come issue. On, come on, come on. One second, one second, Ashokji, one second. Uh, that's not the only issue. The other issues are that wherever he could take a stand, Narendra Modi, now for instance, Pakistan, you, on the international border, soldier has been claimed. LOC, there have been 25 cases of violation. You are sending sarees and shawls. You are accusing us of biryani. You gave them a 20 course meal. People, see, I agree with Ashok that people are watching and judging this hypocrisy and this attempt to befool them. And it's this anger that has got encapsulated. Uh, I, 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 I just want to just, just a minute. People have not voted Modi for making fun of Rahul Gandhi. People have voted Modi because Rahul has made a fun of entire nation. He can yeah, take, sure. he, 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 no, 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 he can, he can, he, the cabinet the passes a resolution, point, he can just tear it off the basic and make sure that the Ashok, resolution Ashok, is changed. Right, that was the fun of, that was the fun. One second, one second. No, let us accept no, Ashok, one second. Now, see, you kept, you keep dragging in Rahul Gandhi. Let me draw the difference between the two. Yeah. You had, you have this prime minister who said that he wants to tackle criminalization. His party goes ahead and appoints a charge sheeted person as its president. You have dozens of ministers with charge sheets and summons, etc., in the cabinet. You have an uh, entire uh, agenda that they would clean up parliament. And you had Rahul Gandhi, whom you're making fun of, who made sure that the ordinance to allow criminals to continue right. parliament doesn't uh, continue. No, 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 no. So, so, so actions speak. Right. Actions speak. Yeah, as far as expectations. So let's not 
make it about Rahul. I mean, let's not make it about Rahul. It's not a question of Rahul. Who? The question is, no, 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 no. Is winning, and that answer. Even you're acknowledging that yes. No, no, no. But as a neutral perspective, Vinit, I'll come back to you. As a neutral perspective, Sanjeev, what do you think? Is the Modi magic waning? Is Uttarakhand a reflection of that, or was it just a flash in the pan? Yeah, coming back to the main issue, of course, uh, you know, uh, Modi wave is still there. I mean, that's something that we have to accept and live with because, you know, people still are not willing to listen to the Congress narrative as of now. But if you talk about the Uttarakhand uh, results, uh, it was on expected lines because uh, you have someone like uh, uh, Harish Rawat, who is a person, or, or, you know, who, who is a grassroots leader. Plus, you had some, you had the new PCC chief, uh, Kishore Upadhyay, who had, you know, fully backed uh, Harish Rawat. And the fact that, you know, Congress won all three seats comprehensively, despite the fact that, you know, Harish Rawat himself was bedridden because he had a, you know, neck injury because of a helicopter crash, helicopter crash. So, mm. you know, that just goes to show that if Congress actually promotes grassroots politicians, they can yes. actually deliver results. Yes. Unfortunately, that's not the case in the party. And we've seen, we all know what all Harish Rawat had to do to get here. He had been, you know, an uh, integral part of... Uh, why uh, Congress came to power the first time when Andy Tiwari was made the chief minister. And then again, this time, you know, he was uh, actually not made. Uh, you saw someone like a Bahaguna uh, going there and then, you know, you, you lost all five Lok Sabha seats. After that, this sort of a comeback cannot, I mean, of course, some credit will go to the party, but more credit has to go to the local unit comprising of Harish Rawat and Kishore Upadhyay for delivering the results. But uh, in the days to come, if you have elections somewhere else, if the sort of management that Congress has right now, if they go with that sort of management, do not be surprised if Modi sweeps everywhere. No, let me let me acknowledge this fact that every victory, election victory has a has a teaching, not just for the person who loses it, in this case the BJP, but even for the victor. And there's no doubt that what Sanjeev has said and what Ashokji is also trying to say are these are important lessons for Congress to also sit and analyze, even though we've won. Yeah. So there's no doubt on that. But now my other question is what happens in the next few bipoles, like Ashok pointed out, there are 12 bipoles in Uttar Pradesh. Yeah. And you've seen how the laboratory of Gujarat has opened shop after Muzaffar Nagar. They've again started in Muradabad. Now, come on, Ashok is a very senior and seasoned journalist, and he knows what is being done in those bipoles to wrest these bipoles out of the Samajwadis and Congress's hands. And I think this is the lesson that BJP is not understanding. They're going back to the Mandal politics instead of doing... Uh, politics of uh, Vikas and what they've committed of development. All right, Vineet, now we'll let you respond. Uh, and rather than Sorry, commandal on... politics, not yeah, mandal. Yeah. So, uh, rather than focus on uh, the, the fact where what will happen in the UP bipoles, the message of uh, delivery on expectations. I mean, uh, I am somebody who just goes by what social media says, and the number of jokes about Acheddin doing the round is uh, almost as many jokes as we're doing about the rounds about Rahul Gandhi during the 2014 election. So, there is some kind of a impatience that is perhaps coming into the electorate we might not Uttarakhand might be different factors but there is a gradual shift isn't there no let me uh, I'll need two three minutes to yeah. elaborate the point yeah. so one is the truth and the expectation second is the truth and the perception and third is the truth and the trolling the first is the truth and uh, what is the facts the GDP has gone up uh, there the mood is very good the PCI has gone up so you see the economical survey we are on the right side uh, the bureaucrats are performing, the leaders are performing, MPs are performing. Come whatever my friend Sajad talks about that. But uh, everybody is in a mood to perform and they are doing good. Okay, that's the fact. And the perception is that ki, people are very serious about work. Now, the latest second one is that ki, the fact and what the perception which has been created by my uh, rival party, which is Congress and other parties. Therefore, try to create a perception saying that ki, Modi's government is not trying to fulfill what it was promised. Sir, we have promised to deliver everything in 60 months. There is a normal course of conduct called as hibernation and taking over the charge in the governance also. We are doing that. If you see, a lot of things have started in the days to come up, you will see large differences between what was done in the previous regime and today. So to tell that we are not performing the Achyadin is far away, the Achyadin are really inside. Now, let us understand the main topic, which is today's topic, is Uttarakhand law. Soiliwala and Someshwar has been visited by me and I know what happens there in the name of caste politics. Ashokji is a very senior journalist. I have been trained by him 20 years back. Ashokji, you only try and train me that if you go anywhere, you have to understand the local issues first. You have to understand the It was trained by him to me. So that local issues of Someshwar is what? If then there is an issue on caste basis, then there is an issue of local issues, which might sometimes take over the larger issue of the primary issue. Hmm. 
So we have not lost Someshwar because you know we were weak or Modi we were as well. There is a local issue, local uh, mathematics, chemistry between the characters and the we'll have to understand that. So there is nothing to be read. We are on the right track. Economy is on the right track. We have fantastic prime minister. We have fantastic cabinet which is there in place. We have people who are with the right mindset. Now some people writing on the uh, social media about Achyuj. Come on, you also know Ishan. Sajad has a battalion of people with him who can write things which may not be serious. You don't have to take it so seriously. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm Vinay, surprised. That was that was that used that <laughs> that the thing I used to say when you were campaigning. I said when social media entirely hijacked uh, by BJP. Then I was to, uh, I was being told no, it is a realistic figure we are giving. It's a realistic thing. See whether it is BJP or a Congress, both of them they have taken advantage of the social media. They do campaign now. It was a turn of a BJP whoever who was in opposition to drag the government. Now it is a chance of a Congress. They will do the same thing. So you have to be ready for the but, but, uh, but, the consequences. Uh, Shazal, but, 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 but may I? Nami? <laughs> and and as for the caste caste and religion is concerned. Another 50 years down the line, this nation will face this. Whether it is BJP, whether it is Congress, Shiv Sena, Samajwadi Party, whoever it is, everybody talks of uh, uh, non-caste and non-religion politics, and everybody ultimately comes down to that. But one thing which our Sanjeev has pointedly, uh, rightly said, by and large, when you study the entire India, Congress has always been defeated by Congress. Hmm. The problem with Congress is that, and Congress is by and large. Killed by the high command sitting here. Hmm. Let me tell you. Madhya Pradesh, things were not that good. Even today, if you open a Madhya Pradesh page, you find 10 people arrested, a few crores of rupees been seized. There's a huge corruption. Every day you find the arrest of Pune, arrest of some officer, some officer. But in spite of that, why BJP came to power with such a mandate? Because there was no clarity to the Congress cadre there in Madhya Pradesh. But whether it is Kamal Nath, whether it is Digvijay, I think, Dijay, I think, I think, I think is, there's a, I think there'll be another so, occasion so to. Similarly, similarly in Maharashtra also. We are diverting. Maharashtra, yeah. every Congress is shouting. Mm. But this, please change the Chief Minister. Yeah, we, are going to go, is, no, no, we are going to the go for it. See, we are going. What exactly Sanjeev has said? It is the combination. It's, it's, it's a coupling between the president, party president, and the Chief Minister when they go together. You get the result. Hmm. I like to. By and large, in Madhya Pradesh, in any states, so they have a the president no, 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 which will have second. a check on the chief no, minister. One yeah. No one second. Let me. Now that two rivals camp when they work, you will always have a problem. Hmm. Ashok Gelo did a really good work in Madhya uh, Rajasthan. Let me tell you. Let me come but in. But CP, CP, CP right, Joshi, right, 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 allowed him to work. All right, all right, Ashok. See, uh, that's why Ashok is a fantastic journalist because when the debate is about Modi magic waning, he still brings in how the Congress High Command has failed. So it, it's a it's a brilliant it, it's a brilliant exposition. You know, in terms of strategy, you know, no, no, it's the free range. Now, 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 see the the the, the fundamental difference is this: Has Congress not made mistakes? Of course, Congress made mistakes. That's why we lost the elections. Has Congress not learned from its mistakes? That's the key question. Yes, we are learning from our mistakes. That's why we've won. But the irony is that today they used to keep the BJP used to accuse us that we can't say the king has done any wrong. Here I am listening to Ashok's expositions. I'm hearing yeah. and I'm saying I'm being very objective about the facts. But it is uh, Vineet who can't say that yes, Modi magic is failing. In fact, the party system has been hijacked by a certain individual to such an extent that Vineet is in those shoes that he cannot even say that yes, my prime minister has failed in delivering. It's it's just taboo. But if they would have won the election. They would have been saying that Modi ji ka jadu cha gaya, tsunami a gayi, earthquake a gaya, everything. So I guess, I guess what has happened is that Vineet is now experiencing uh, the reasons. Uh, what do you experience uh, before 2014? Well, he's, change of side, change of well, side. Well, I can, well, well I can only say one thing, that learning the lesson is the key thing in a democracy. Right. We've taken our lessons and if, if uh, Vineet doesn't take them very soon, not only will he lose Uttarakhand, Delhi will be slipping out in his hands as well. We need to respond. You can't, uh, you can't avoid or stop somebody dreaming in the day. It's his choice. That's why we never stopped you, Vineet. That's why we never stopped you. We you said we will do everything in 60 coming, days. Coming back to Uttarakhand. Coming back to Uttarakhand. Final words. Still, final words. Uh, again, I feel we are reading too much out of that. Whether Modi magic has gone or not, it will take one year to understand really Modi is working. Hmm. But the people at the ground level, with the poor people or the people uh, downtrodden, the 
backwards they really were expecting magic mm. and not magic those perceptions were given gifted by modi himself to the people mm. no media said modi will make a miracle he said i will make a miracle that's a big problem mm. now that is the reason he is into shell people will also tweet back mm. <laughs> but you don't expect tweet from people you expect what from people mm. so that going to ballot pay, right, pay so it will take one year but this victory really credit goes to the chief minister hmm. and the party president hmm. so let us so but this credit does go to high command of the congress party no so no no, no, no. high mean, command has given them free hand so that's not a pure I, i mean that's like that's right, we should that's be thankful to rahul gandhi he didn't go to there come on <laughs> yeah. that's been very <laughs> uh, final word final word to sanjeev also then i'll come to you i think in the case of ashok the congress leadership can do no right just like for vinit the bjp leadership no 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 congress leadership and as far as sonia gandhi is concerned sonia gandhi see again let me give you one let me just give since there two three marathis totally uh, not to take Baba. away from our uh, up up uh, representative in marathi there is a old adage that for tasting the rice you don't need to take the entire rice you to see it's cooked you yeah. just need to take one dana this is uttarakhand is one dana for this government of modi if they don't same, realize their rice will same, be uncooked same 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 thing and thing but by tasting one dana rahul has almost emptied half of the cooker <laughs> No, but still is... he is not in a position to tell whether rice is cooked or not that is the problem Ashok, <laughs> bihar he has taken Ashok, up he has taken Ashok, gujarat he has taken Ashok, number of states Ashok, he has Ashok, not Ashok, taken gandhi might not have come back well, but well, in well, the well, movie well, wave on the well, 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 well it seems well it seems that <laughs> yeah, ashok um, ashok is trying to like, do his best to uh, to speak about uh, rahul gandhi even though the topic is about no, no 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 i applaud him <laughs> i applaud him for his new found no, uh, objectivity no, he he is ultimately see rahul gandhi you cannot outnumber him and he is the man who is going to replace Modi. I, I don't know if it's bad. Whether the Congress Party would want that, but uh, Sanjeev, uh, what about you? Uh, we need to come here. Give me the yeah. final word. Yeah, I mean, since this it's such a heated conversation, I'll bring it back to Uttarakhand. Basically, uh, you know, I agree with what Vankatesh sir is saying that you know you can't say, say talk about Uttarakhand and generalize, but there are a lot of lessons to be learned from that. Firstly, the result in Uttarakhand is actually a referendum on Harish Rawat and the kind of work he has done in the past six months. and that just goes to show that you know if the congress can actually get its act together then there are ways to somehow expose those chinks in modi's armor of all the issues that we've been discussing here be it rising prices or incursions or you talk about any other stuff that's happening polarization that's happening especially in western up so the message is loud and clear that you know it's not as if uh, you cannot it, it's not an insurmountable job of trying to defeat the bjp even at this early stage but you know the, the owners the ball is now in the congress's court if whether they can get their act together and try and use these chinks in modi's armor to move ahead as far as the congress is working right now is concerned i you know, i have serious doubts whether you know they'll actually be able to move ahead on that all right fair enough uh, we need final word to you okay we don't have to read too much from the uttarakhand issue the three seats which have won each has got historical reasons and the reasons are very obvious let me just uh, tell that this has no impact on the image of the prime minister the prime minister is on the line he is in a fantastic mode so is the party and the cabinet so this is only good factor which happened in this election for congress was that rahul gandhi did not visit the three places so sir there is a old marathi saying jaha jaha pair pade santan ke wah wah banta tha you have to take a learn learning from this make sure that rahul gandhi does not go to any other places your chances will be bright in that places also delhi ka banta dhar mat karna मोदी <laughs> 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 All right, fair enough. So everybody has made their points of view. It's all differing, as always. The Congress and the BJP, of course, not agreeing. And the, the journalist pointing out very interesting things that if the both the parties don't listen to, uh, the, the, I mean, don't learn lessons from victory as well as from defeat, when uh, things could be very different in the coming days. So what do you think about the Modi vein? Oh, uh, sorry, Modi wave waning. Is it waning? Is it not? Write into us. Tell us via social media. I'd like to thank Shahzad, Ashok sir, Vinit, and Sanjeev for coming in and sharing your perspectives and having such a frank conversation. It's always 
always a pleasure to have you guys on the show. On that note, we'll wrap it up. But uh, what do you think about the Modi wave? Write into us, tweet out to us, and we'll of course put your views out there. Thanks so much for watching.